four major steps you should do right away today to get your EIDL loan approved within the next seven days are revealed in an LA bombshell. Thanks for tuning in. This is Thursday. I am back and alive and wearing red in case I bleed to death during today's taping. This is LLA. Thanks for always just tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below. And we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And surely we'll be answering all 182 of your EIDL loan questions from yesterday. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel so you get an alert uh, <laughs> when someone tries to sell you some Weeboo stock. Um, but shortly, we will be getting to really the issue of the day. There are three videos. We're going to ramp up to three videos today about EIDL. This one is to get your loan approved. The next one is, is really important. You need to watch it. It's about how to give a release to your senator congressman to have them step in and help you. And it's also going to be more about asking for Jovita uh, Carranza to be resigned. The third video is about getting the remainder of your grant money or getting your grab money if you haven't received it. For most of you, all three videos are live, so you got to listen to it. Uh, so, right, let's jump into some of your questions before I get to this real shocking details about the loan itself. Um, TCH, exquisite shirt, thank you. Today is Michael Brand Brandon, which is a uh, couture department of Ross, which is basically, you know, when you right next to the restroom, that's their couture department. Uh, it's all polyester, $12. Uh, Shanae, nice shirt. Well, thank you. How am I doing today? Cruz Juan, Fabio shirt. Well, goodness, <laughs> but let's talk about the loan, folks. Um, Brad Linney, I'm totally disgusted that he even bothered with that dog and pony show. Yes, a lot of you are very disgusted with yesterday's hearing. I am sorry, but there was good news in that hearing about your loan, and that's why I want you to stay with me. I'm going to drop that at the 10-minute mark of this video. Whereforth Beauty Bar by Faith. This is so crazy. I'm tired of people trying to skate through. We all need our money. Very well said. Juman, hearing was a disappointment. It was a disappointment. Uh, we should start a movement for the DOG investigation. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's referring to one of the senators asked for a Department of Justice investigation because uh, Jovita Carranza, the head of SBA, was refusing to answer his very basic questions or provide documentation which substantiates her claims or answers questions that were postured to her. Um, I really think we, there should be. Ben Cardin was the only Democrat that seemed to somewhat hammer her. No, there was another one um, whose name just uh, uh, misses me. I was tweet, uh, LLA was tweeting her today ex um, to watch our video. Joe Smith, the whole SBA pro program is broke. It is. Chevelle, she needs to step down. Absolutely. Mary Cas Casaneda um, just spoke to his tier two representative. Uh, the next thing he told me is, well, go find a job then. Really? I was shocked when he told me this. So my perception of the SBA is they don't care if our business is closed down. Uh, Javita Carranza, if you are listening to it, this video, this is the new policy. The new goalpost of your SBA office is you're telling people to go find a job. Well, guess what? They've lost their businesses because of your incompetency. Jaquita Gilbert. Um, here's the email from for Jovita Carranza, uh, jo, jovita.carranza at, at sba.gov. I didn't say it. She said it. Well, <laughs> thank you for that detail. Um, Jermaine Morgan, I followed your instructions. Yes. And this is going to be more of what I'm going to talk about at the 10-minute mark to get you your loan. Email Rubio, email Cruz, email, call Rubio and call Cruz. Don't just default to emails. Also call. I will also say that one of the viewers of this channel said that Faxing Rubio apparently is one of the fastest process that I've had. A lot of viewers say that Rubio has responded and they're actually now taking up files. I'm going to get to that shortly at the 10-minute mark. TB, she, Carranza is such a liar. She is. Elmer, LLA for head of SBA. I would do it. Um, Patrick Frazier, Missy LLA goes to Washington. It's a wonderful life. I <laughs> uh, can't stand that heat there. Oh, Amy Perkins. Is it me? Or did she just lie under oath? Uh, yeah, with a very nice scarf in 90-degree weather. Daniel Bowen, applied April 2nd, uh, sole proprietor gig, 10 DBA, 10 years, denied docs reopen, experiencing credit poll. He was a 790 credit score. Wow. No email to portal. Do you think by June 19th I'll hear something? By the way, I love you. You're my favorite. Well, thank you, Diane. Um, 
you need to listen to what I'm about to say at the 10-minute mark. You'll get it alone. I mean, you have a 790 experience credit score. I hope Jovita has not ruined it by the time of this video broadcasting. I mean, she has half an hour to hit that credit score with heart, seven more polls and just ruin your credit score. But I'm just being facetious. But, I mean, that's really what's going on. Uh, JM, Jovita Carranza must be removed for the MBSBA. She is... Uh, she is unair unable to understand what's going on with small businesses. Her arrogant actions in discriminating against minorities that her own businesses is transparent and her email pertaining to the EIDL emergency loan. Uh, the CARES Act of the law. You know, she clearly did discriminate against two groups. She said, I mean, the transcript, I read the transcript yesterday. She thought that the IDL process was not for solo proprietors and, and one or two businesses. And she said that you were generally not impacted by COVID-19. How dare her? How dare her? Her own form says that you, uh, that solo pr proprietors can apply. So is that the reason that, that so many real estate people got denied because real estate brokers inherently sometimes, or real estate agents inherently are just sole proprietorships? I want to know. Boo G, I've been watching the hearing the same take that feel like the senators is nibbling around the issues. Very well said. Tim Flaherty, got EI deal funding today. Applied May 3rd and we see the $2,000 grant for my two employees. Um, wonderful. What happened with your loan? Pedro De Leon, I received my loan documents today. Finally. Wow. <laughs> There's at least like four De Leons watching this channel. So another one, another De Leon got their loan approved. Wonderful. Barbara Evans. Barbara Edwards, uh, class action lawsuit. Anyone? There actually is one already in Florida. River a, a river astronaut. Karanja should resign at the very least. People get jailed for lesser infractions. Well said. Uh, stay with us for our Carranza resignation video. We're doing a second update. It'll, I'll link it in the, uh, above later this evening. That will come after this recording. Political Lil. The plan is to cut off small business, eliminate the middle class. That's why they collide on your eyes and your business is 25000 I want to just say, if you did not catch it somewhere in that myriad of a thousand videos yesterday, there were two viewers that said that Carranza's office offered them an SBA loan of $25,400. I'm sorry, that just sounds like a big red flag, more red than the shirt. I mean, it just sounds like you're putting them $1 into the collateralization zone. James Brown, oh my God, really? This is a lack of representation by our elected officials. It is true. I mean, these elected officials were doing nothing at that here. Well, two of them were doing a great job. The rest were like out to tea. Like, wake up, John Wiley. And I don't want to play a game. I don't want to hear this junk that it's a partisan issue. Uh, you know... This is not a partisan issue. There are Republicans that own businesses. There are Republicans that watch this channel. There are Republicans that are small business owners that are losing their businesses. Are, are there Republican representatives going to do nothing and just uh, braid Carranza's hair and knit her a quilt every time she comes in? Because that's what they were doing yesterday. Uh, Spider's Web. Not only do I love your information, your swag is even better. Keep dropping those bombshells. Thank you. Terry Alexander, after watching the Senate question, it seems like she's taking the fall for the government. Um... No, I, I, I think it's something internal. Trace Wash, forget LA Late. I want all my money. It'll be LA Late early. Interceptor, thank you, sir. Your hard work is very appreciated. That's a bombshell shirt. It was first come. Us Vortec applicants should be taken care of first. Yes, and that is really uh, almost like a spoiler of what I'm getting to shortly. There are viewers, this channel was, the, this channel's initial bread and butter when we had 100 views a day or 20 views a day, those very first few days, were Vortex viewers, of viewers who applied on 3.30, of, of March or March 29th or April 8th and have literally been put through the ringer, have gotten nothing, have not been processed. And some of you are still not out of it. Beauty Experts Studio, uh, this whole process has been a mess. Jean Crom, yes, transparent is what we need to see right through her and all her ball. I, th I should have led with that. She has more ball than a Weeble stock. Oh, that should have been my opening line. SBA is a liar, is very well said. Pizza God, move over, Howard Stern. We have a new king of all media. Go LA Lake. Well, thank you. Samantha, she awarded millions to Planned Parenthood. And when asked what, what she wanted to answer in private, there's no private lady unless your answer is shady like your operations. Ooh, I love that. Rich Krupp, the dishonorable Jovita Caranza is nothing more than a legalized mob boss, a total liar, liar and slime bucket. Um, 
you know, she's a career politician. She never worked a day in her life in any type of study that she can relate to you as the American public. She was a postal worker who worked herself up in the postal uh, in, in the U.S. Postal Service, which is a federal agency. And then uh, she was a, a, a Bush appointee. I mean, this is not a person who has any uh, understanding, sentiment, or caring for you and the American people. Um, Kimberly Getter, thank you for your information. I did see an interview on C-SPAN. Let's see what happens. Napier Prater, the whole program is a joke. Guns, B <laughs> Guns Barbecue, and BS. That's the screen name. Love the channel. It's been very helpful. Claiming the channel brought forth a committee hearing is a reach. Okay, we'll bring some guns and barbecue and see what you get. Uh, Gillette, did I just say that? Jelani H. Does anyone know what happens with an application when the SBA attempts to run a credit check and your credit file is locked? It doesn't affect it. We've had a lot of videos about that. Um, so the fact that your credit check was locked did not mean that you were disapproved or approved. Um, it, it, we have seen people get approved even though the application was locked. Their, their file was locked. Loco Ed, much appreciated for everything you do. I may apply on May 4th. I applied on May 4th. My business is not agricultural. I was told my application not being considered. I guess it did not. Should I reapply? Loco, I need to know why you were denied but i'm going to get to that shortly if it was agriculture if you applied well oh sure i'm, I'm sorry you applied on march on may 4th 4th so that was only agricultural um i'm going to get to that right now so here comes the bombshell um there were really three types of eidl loan video viewers uh, that are now watching this channel. So I'm going to have very different messages for each of you. There are one, those that applied during the normal streamline process in March and April. There are those of you who applied for the agricultural uh, loan in May. And there's finally a very, very small number of you who have never applied at all. And you just found this channel and you want to apply. Or you f have another business and you want to apply. Let me jump to the very last group first, because this is very this is really coming up right away. Um, if you have multiple businesses and they were impacted by COVID-19, you were allowed under the CARES Act to apply for an EIDL loan for each of those respective businesses. If when you went to apply for your business in March or April, you forgot to apply for your other business, you only applied for one, when the new EIDL loan portal reopens next week for all businesses, you may now apply for that other business if you never applied for it. Um, that's the first thing. Second, uh, and this is for agricultural. In, Ma in May, the SBA opened up EIDL loans again just for agricultural businesses. If you applied and you're an agricultural business and you have not been approved or you've been denied, you need to continue through that process. You need to listen to the videos and understand how to get your approval or denial. Um, if you applied and you're not agricultural, uh, you, you made an error. You should not have applied. Now, what should you do coming next week? Well, obviously, I'm going to say to you, you need to now apply when the correct portal is open for you next week, which is a non-agricultural portal. Uh, I don't know, and I'm sh sure the, the, the stuff is going to hit the fan next week. When people who applied for an ag, when the portal was open only for agricultural, were denied because they were not agricultural, then reapply when it's open for non-agricultural, are they going to say it's a duplicate application? Are they going to make another excuse because they saw a previous application and, the, and that, that they cross-reference them? I don't know. But for now, if you applied in May for an agricultural loan, but we're not an agricultural business and we're denied because you're an agricultural business, get ready to apply next week. I'm going to give you a side bit about that as well. Um, there, if you go to the SBA's website, and you will see that I dropped a comment is, as a really a big emergency into this channel earlier today. It was an emergency. There was someone who was jumping into this channel and commenting about something so wrong that it could get you in trouble. And so I immediately banned that person and posted a remark in case any of you saw it. The person, if you go to SBA's website now and you look under EIDL loans, it says the only loans available for EIDL loans now are agricultural. It's, it's very, very basic. It says, do not apply unless you're agricultural. Well, when you click on the link, the link sends you to a streamline application. It's the same streamline application everyone did back in March for non-agricultural businesses. Very bad people on the internet are sending that link to the streamline application and saying, the portal's open, the portal's open, apply, apply. 
And people, and this person jumped on to this channel and kept on telling people to apply for the new, e, that the new idea, the new EIDL non-agricultural portal was open, that people need to apply, that he found a back door. Not only is that not right, but it also could get you in very bad trouble. Um, Applying when you're in the agricultural, applying for an agricultural loan when you are not agricultural, and then hoping that you get some backdoor is really bad tactics. So please do not, uh, do not take strange, crazy advice that sometimes jumps in the comments. We try to ban as fast as possible. Now, to my core bread and butter viewers, those that applied for EIDL loans back in March and April for non-agricultural and uh, are not, are, are, are hanging somewhere. This is what you need to do. Javita Carranza said yesterday before the SBA hearing that one thing that I think is so incredibly wonderful for you, and we're going to hold her to it. She said that all of you are going to have your loans processed by next week. And she says also that she'll be done in a chronological purpose. Well, you know what? I want you to start repeating that and repeat it the following way. I want you to call SBA and say, hey, my EIDL loan has not been processed. I, Car uh, Carranza appeared yesterday and she said, I'm going to get processed within the next seven days. I haven't heard nothing. Why aren't you processing me? Two, I want you to contact your congressman and I want you to tell them that Carranza appeared yesterday before the Senate subcommittee on the, on the SBA and said that loans were going to be processed in chronological order and that she was going to finish everyone next week and then start opening new loans. I want you to tell your senators right now to step in and help you because Carranza has no right to start opening the floodgate and doing new applications when she hasn't gotten to you. And, if she, and I... We don't know where she's going with it, but there is a chance that she is not going to get you done by next week and that she is going to start opening the floodgates and there'll be hundreds of thousands of applications that's for flooding in before yours. This is why it's so important for you to move now. You need to call your senator and congressman and say, hey, she said we're going to be processed in the next seven days. I haven't been gotten out of that vortex. I haven't been moved. I haven't been seen. Um, third. There are those of you who are sort of in this um, in this sort of Neverland place with your loan that you got a loan offer, you clicked, it says processing, or you signed the document and it hasn't been renewed, hasn't been funded, or this and that. I want you to do the same thing. If you don't do it, there is a potential that your loan is going to just sort of get pushed to the side and everyone that is going to storm in next week and believe me they're going to storm in if she opens that portal for all these hundreds of millions of other people that want to storm in and start applying yours may be lost in a mess last i a lot of you have reached out on social media and email you know uh smoke signals and you've told me that sba said this to you and sba said that to you i really don't care I, 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 mean, I care for your process, but I don't care about their lies. I really don't care about their lies anymore. I've had enough of Jovita Carranza and her stories. The story is that your loan needs to be processed. The reason why this is so important is the following. You're not, if you have not received your grant money, you will not get your grant unless the loan is approved or denied. If it's approved, you're going to get your grant money. And if it's denied, the current policy is you're going to get your grant money. But if your loan isn't processed... You're not going to get anything. You're not going to get a loan. You're not going to get a grant. And all you're going to get is a lot of waiting time. And you may never see it, the light of day. So there you go. Finally, some of you have defaulted to using the ombudsman um, for SBA and have not seen good results. I'm not going to recommend you to use him either. And lastly, if you want to email Javita Carranza at, the, at her personal email address and say, hey, you said before the Senate committee yesterday that you're going to be approving loans, uh, excuse me, finishing out all your loans from March and April within the next seven days, how come you haven't gotten to me? You can certainly do that as well. Remember, always be respectful and 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 uh, forthcoming, and stay with the facts when addressing the honorable Javita Carranza. And so, let's get to more of your question, Anaja. You have permission to go shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> that will be another channel. Uh, Devon, all the small business owners need to protest at the SBA's locations. Yes. Um, Harrison, I applied after watching your videos on April, April 30th. I believe I'm late. 
I in May I was sent an offer fourteen thousand dollar loan. I went through all the steps on May Foon, June I was declined, never received an advance, never received a grant. Um, I was told they so I'm not quite sure. You applied on April thirtieth and you got a fourteen thousand dollar loan but were denied. I don't know what why you were denied. Um, please drop in the comments below and I'll try to help you. You need to do reconsideration. Additionally, those of the viewers that have loans that were denied, you need to do the reconsideration as well to get your grant money. Robert Chat, watching the 2.5 hours made me extremely upset. Absolutely. Terry Alexander, and thank you for educating us on this issue. Jeff Hansen, well done. Thank you for the summary. Tris, I'm writing this to you to listen to you at the beginning of the transcript. The sporadic junk of Javita shows she's uh, capable of not only using BS, but apparently to everyone in the hearing too. Um, you know, here I'm going to jump back into more bombshells. If you are also trying to negotiate your loan and trying to get a higher loan amount, you need to move fast. I mean, you need to get this done in the next seven days. So, I, you know, it, it is sad for me to say you need to work more than you've already been working, which I know you've been working your fingers to the pulse. But you really, if you're negotiating loans, which I think Cruz Juan, who's a viewer of this channel, was talking about uh, before, um, they, they, or, or there was someone else on the East Coast that was not able to get anyone on the phone to negotiate loans, you need to do it now. If you don't know how to collateralize, you don't, you don't know anything about the collateralization of the loan or you're trying to get the loan reduced out of the collateralization zone under $25,000, you need to do it now. You need to do all these things now before this floodgate happens next week. Chris Bowswell, you're now pacing around. You got me pacing around waiting for the next video. <laughs> Pedro De Leon, you're a great communicator. Would love to have you in these congressional hearings. So there we go. We have another De Leon. Uh, Pedro, what happened with your uh, with your uh, application? I mean, there's like five De Leons on this channel. It's wonderful. Blue Titan Hawaii, YouTube is sending me your video six, seven hours after posting, and I'm a subscriber. Um, you need to hit that bell at the front of the channel so you get an alert when a new video goes live. But if you don't, if something's wrong with YouTube, our first video usually goes live at about 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our second video goes live at about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then we'll drop some PUA and second stimulus checks in between there. There's three today, though. Um, Bingsley Realty Group. <laughs> nice shirt, LA. Well, how am I doing today? Uh, based on what you're saying, the application process will be done next week. No, based on what she says, it's going to be done next week. Should I wait to call again next week? No, you should be calling every single day this week to get that loan out of the vortex or wherever it is. Absolutely not Bingsley Realty Group. Chris Wong, amazing information. LA, I'm appalled. I've been contacting the SBA every day uh, ever since I started watching your channel. It's been six years in my industry, 31 years in September. I'm saying... I'm the best business operator, but I'm not saying I'm the best business operator, but I don't know what's right or wrong, and the SBA is wrong. Uh, so, Cruz, you're going to have to stay on top of it. I mean, now is really the ammunition. But, Cruz, you really need to contact your senator. Um, and if, if you're still watching this video, which I hope you are, please drop the tree's link on the video that's going to come up later tonight that talks about how to contact your senator and give them a release. I'm going to go over that with you. Dre, are you going to have to reapply? No. So you, boy, I, sh I forgot to go over that. Um, you're not supposed to reapply with the same business. Boy, and that person I had to block from the, sh uh, from the comments said he's going to get another grant for the same business. Oh, boy. Uh, I'll visit you in jail. No way. Carlos Tovar, I watched the healing. It feels like a lot of questions were deflected. They kept on addressing from here forward actions. What's about everything happening since March? Very well true. Sean Lazarus watched another video, and I bet it was the same guy in Ohio screaming this time. Uh, Kim Akins, the reality is that 10,000 ground should have been enough for my applications. Very well said. Donna Kuros, uh, Kuros bomb shirt. Jovita scrimmed. I emailed, called everyone who was sitting there. Good. Uh, Tracy Rocks. I like to get close enough to smell her hair. It smells like pumpkin increasement. Wuhan. Uh, oh, it was, maybe it was Wuhan that was trying to get his loan increased. Uh, Elliot, I knew nothing was going to happen, so I heard Mr. Rubio here, Hero worshipping Jovita and the SBA and Mushin. It's like something got rotten on here. I also kept him talking about great success on the PPP loan. I'm sticking to my original assessment. Jovita and the rats of the media are all a bunch of so sneaky scammers. Wow. Uh, Pamela Schroeder. Excuse me, honey, I'm rolling. <laughs> Kevin McCoy. Maybe they'll think if we chase their long tail enough, they'll give up and go away. Corn fed. I'm done. Hats to stop. Teresa Pyle. Um, so she reapplied on April 6th. So she applied originally on April 4th, 3rd, reapplied on April 6th, increased the loan amount for $5,000, 
Uh, anyways, I'm moving forward. I have a question. If one of the loan rules says you can't give yourself or an employee a bonus, why did Kimberly Butler give herself a 30% bonus? Oh, I love that. Uh, Marina's on. We really need to find a way maybe to get you on the news. Um, let's do it. Contact your local news. Share the video about the uh, about the uh, firing of Javita Carranza, what this channel has been calling for. Antonio Carlos, hey, Mr. Elliott, I saw your video last night. That I went on Mr. Rubio's website. Uh, in ten ten thousand dollar grant, we received one thousand dollars per employee, and mentioned to him other details. But until now, no reply from his office. Hopefully, he gets to it soon. He is getting to it soon. I have had like at least twenty viewers that have talked about a response from Rubio's office, Senator Rubio's office, in the last twenty four hours. I will address Senator Rubio, and giving him release in the video that I'm talking about. That's going to be the second of three EIDL videos today. Zeta Dowdy, can you please explain to me where the link? to the reconsideration of the EID loan is. It's when you get a denial, it's mentioned in the denial where you send the reconsideration. Vortex defense. Uh, I'm all for draining the swamp, but damn it, he's going to be dropped, drained on both sides. Very well said. Ellie, like that shirt, sure, sure is fly guy. Swag. Well, thank you. How am I doing today? EH, Planned Parenthood got $80 million loan, and jo Josh Hawley ripped her apart, waiting for the reason she should, could not get the money. Is he the one from uh, Missouri? I can't remember where uh, Josh was from. James Hickerson, by the way, Cardin and Hawley got on her the most. I thought the. Uh, the senator from Nevada, um, Rosen, I thought she did quite well as well. William Rosario, I'm a contractor in my business. I have personal bills. Political Lil, love the shirt. Uh, Curvin, I'm so pissed off. We are all pissed off. Marina, they're going to have to reopen it so everyone can reapply again. No. No. I mean, that is going to be my, re my, my point I'm going to keep on hitting, that you can't reapply again with the same business unless you applied in May as an agricultural business and were... And then you have to reapply. But if you apply out in March and April, oh boy, uh, you're just going to be that. That's that is not no no. Karina Lindo, hello, my name is Karina. I love watching you so much. I'm from New York. I, I got denied the EID loan, approved for the grant. Had to update my banking info. Still no grant. Can you please help me, please? So you need to get. Um, I still not receive my grant. Oh, so you need to call SBA and say, where's your grant money? How am I receiving it? When am I receiving it? And, and, and how soon am I receiving it? Don't sit around and wonder. I'm glad that you actually, uh, well, you said you got approved for the grant. I don't know what that means. But generally, this is the way it's working now. So if you got denied for any ID loan, you have to call SBA and say, where's my grant money? You have to file a reconsideration letter. And in the reconsideration letter, you have to say, where is my grant money? Please send me my grant money. They're not going to send you $10,000. They're going to send you $1,000 per employee. But they will send it because that's the current policy as of last Thursday as a goalpost change. For, we were the first to reveal that. Uh, Richard Gutierrez, oh my God, really, what is going on here? LA, get hold of someone like David Murr from Nightline to shed some light on the frustrating processes. Book me, book me, I'll do it. Larry Durberry, I just emailed Rubio. Um, Sharon, uh, bombs away. Maximum America, your voice, sir, has been a major influence. Thank you. Uh, Michael McAllister, so it's a 570 credit score. Uh, the liability to debt ratio is what being told in the minimum that very, very low their lending institution will lend unless that score has large reserves, meaning stock and cash. And no, I mean, we're, we're going back. We haven't done credit score video in a long time, like two weeks. But no, they're, they are lending loans to people with credit scores in the mid 500s. There's no hard and fast rule about where it is. Uh, D. Baskin, there should not be collateral loans of $50,000 or less. Well, there is. <laughs> uh, that lady is so full of it. Annie. Uh, unseen hero, who has the power to fire this woman? The Congress. Uh, Beauty Babe, they totally ignore the grant, but she needs to resign. Uh, Rich Noso, another fancy shirt. Um, you're the only real one on YouTube. Do you don't sugarcoat anything, and it's appreciated so much. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say the person's name. Is so convinced that after hearing that we're on our way to get a 10,000 grant, and he says 500 credit scores will get people a loan. I mentioned him because you mentioned you many times in his audience mentioned as credible source. Thank you for all you do. Well, thank you. We got an offer of EIDL, but we're passing. No offer for the EIDL grant. Um, Maxwell, female and disabled veteran owned business. We didn't get the $1,000 grant. Maybe my community isn't worth the grant. So you need to go through the loan process to get the grant. Um, when you're the loan is either denied or approved, you'll get the grant money and you have to call SBA. Uh, Marina, I don't see a, a way for our voices to be heard. Congress people. Uh, Kevin Lockett, I got apply, apply, accepted for the SBA loan, but I was denied the grant because I guess I checked the box declining the grant. 
what? I called them several times and I also sent a reconsideration to fix my granite mistake. Is there anything else I should do? Yes, you need to call them. You need to call them and I would contact your senator as well. If you ask for the grant and you and they're saying you didn't ask for the grant, uh, but you're certain you did, then even though your loan is denied, they're enti- they're required to pay you the grant at a thousand dollars per employee, according to them. Uh, Robert Durham, oh my goddamn job, an answer for the grant. That's all we wanted. A lineup here, not that. There's a lot more we want than that. Bob Barrett, oh my god, sole proprietors are now treated like a race, like it isn't worthy of SBA's attention. She literally said that she doesn't care about sole proprietorships. The SBA is a joke and just simply couldn't handle the job given to it. Very well said. Larry Durbin, maybe we should consider voting Democrat. That would show who was the boss. Well, I think we already weren't going to. Sean Lazarus, oh my God, what is wrong with her? She's pathetic. LLA for pre- President Teresa, write me in. Uh, Monica, dishonorable Javita is a gangster and the rest enablers. What? Why wasn't she pressed harder? She wasn't pressed harder. I mean, this is a congressional hearing. This is not a potluck dinner. If you want to go after someone, you don't let them give you a fake answer and then go on to the next question. You press and you press and you press. In fact, some of these congressmen actually tweeted excerpts of what they did during that video, during that hearing. I would not have tweeted what you did. You didn't do much of anything except let someone run you ragged and not answer your questions. If you have questions today's comment, uh, today's video, please drop them in the video below by 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to get to them. Uh, coming up later today is another video about asking for Javita Carranza to be resigned and how to get ready to communicate with your senator and give them a release. Because a lot of you have been asking me, what is this release and how does it work? And finally, our EIDL grant video tonight, which you really have to watch. It's about getting you uh, your grant money. As always, TFL, for more. Thank you.